So I woke up in an hour late today. My homie is gonna meet me in the cafeteria. He knows my homie. He knows some people that I know. He knows about the graffiti game. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> I'm gonna hook him up with a coffee right now. You just got off the shuttle or what? We took an Uber. Huh? You took an Uber or what? Nah, I cut, a, I cut the, the bus. You want a coffee? I got you today, nah, I'm good, dude. Oh, man. Fuck off, Give man. me a small one. Give all me right, a small one. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to be all good. You want cream and sugar? Or? Yeah. Okay. Get it out. Okay. I'm running late today, though. I woke up an hour late. I told you that already, right? Nah, Probably yeah. did. I, I told gonna, these fuckers. I was going to tell you. I'm going to invite you here, though. Hey, when are you We got style, huh? <laughs> when are you done to do an interview? What do you want to do? Whenever you can do one about my like military like life, and oh, then no, we can yeah. do one on the graffiti side too, okay. like if you want. Yeah. Like, I mean, how about you want to do it? We can do we can do different like we can do like psychology always, stuff. Uh, on Monday, do, you want to do it on Monday? Yeah, I'm done. Cause we get here, we meet up usually on Monday and Wednesday, right? Yeah. Right, come on. I'm using our phone. Alright, hey, you want a coffee, right? My friend Jay. Really cool style, right? Talking about books, classics. I don't like to show people the books that I read. But I don't give a fuck because most people aren't even gonna read it. Not talking about you. So you got the I read. Yeah, he reads a lot. What happened there? Uh, had a piercing right there. Oh no shit, huh? You the big scar like that? Are you native in any way? Just to Mexico. Mexico. You might definitely not be have no Spanish in you. Because it's the color of your skin. I think I have Spanish because I'm lighter. Yeah, my parents are from, they say it's a lot of, it's like my, like mixed, you know, mestizo. Talk to my psychology course right now. Now I'm anxious because he knows me. Because he knows my channel. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Well, I know they do sketchy shit, but I want to get a coffee and I want to use the rest of my, uh, anyway, I'm going to get a coffee. I'll work right now for a few hours, get off at 11. So I'm pretty tired. I did burpees today. Go get a coffee. So way over there yonder, I don't think about these things. <clears throat> but that girl I was talking about, probably yesterday's vlog. Sometimes I mix days and vlogs. But anyway, I got my coffee. Who the fuck knows, who the fuck cares? I just don't respect that shit, but uh, I don't really give a fuck. Just has to do with like, you know, my brother dying on drugs and seeing my family all fucked up on drugs growing up. Not, you know, my mom wasn't on drugs, but maybe drugs probably would have made her calm the fuck down. But you know, my aunties and my brother dying of it, and my uncles. But um. That girl I told you seems to have like a, you know, grew up in the foster system, the one that I work with. As I'm walking to work right now, she was walking down the hill. She pretty much lives in my neighborhood. She mentioned the neighborhood that she lives in and that's the neighborhood I live in. And she's like, well, I told her, you don't want to go to school? She said, I'm $12,000 in debt. So I dropped out. I was like, you want to be here forever? Like, you should have went to community college, but she's had a long day. She seemed to be kind of moody. Remember I told you? She seems to hide whatever she goes through pretty well. She has to be a tough individual. And it was kind of showing right now. She was kind of annoyed at me, like my questioning, etc. I know a bench I could sit in for about 30 minutes and read before I go in. And, um, 
She's like, well, I've been up since five in the morning and she was walking away. I'm like, so have I. She's like, well, thanks for telling me things that I don't want to hear while I got to take a 40 minute bus ride. I was like, where do you live? And that's when I found out she lives by me. And I'm like, so do, so do I, I live over there. She's like, well, I've been up since five. I'm like, okay, so have I. I actually woke up an hour late today. But it was just kind of coincidental how I talked about her yesterday on my way to work. About how, like, she was showing, like, her interest in a more kinder, probably a more affectionate, more honest and innocent man. Not to say I'm not honest. I'm actually, I'm just saying more of, like, a more nurturing man. Or young man, actually, that she seemed to be interested in. She looks very mature for a 22-year-old young lady. Very beautiful. Um, yeah, just funny how that conversation I had with you guys yesterday and I ran into her right now. <laughs> she seems to not really kind of like me. Maybe I trigger her in some ways. It's so funny how that trigger is a human attribute, man. It is a real human attribute. It is a real thing inside humans that awakens something in them, whether it's a good or bad thing whether it's a positive or negative, whether it's gonna make you feel jolly or it's gonna bring anxiety, or you'll have a preconceived notion about certain individuals just based off of maybe they have some similarities to somebody who affected you in a good or bad way. Cool, nobody's sitting at these benches. It looked like it was somebody's head, but it was just the opening to the trash can. So an hour of the store, it'll be closed when I come in. Just like when I open and the store's closed the first hour of my shift. So it's four hours. It's not too bad. It should be fine. How does his hat look? That's all right, swami. Anyway, I'll... Okay, Home Depot. I gotta get some pull-ups in. My coworker says he can do 15 a set. Let's see. 15? You told me that. Oh, he's so hard. Oh, shit, dude. There you go. Come on. Zero. What the? <laughs> Come on, give me five more. Oh. I want a gym right here, dude. Oh, shit. No, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. You're tight right now, right? I'm tired, dude. Nah. <laughs> you just made my vlog, dog. <laughs> hey, man. Dude, I thought it was the bosses watching me. It's just so funny that it was you. It was meant to be, right? Yeah. That you watch me? You right or what? Fuck that guy. We know we got a pull up bar here, right? Is something missing from the break room? I ate your lunch.